to Ilma the Metro. I hope no more will stop me. But this is uh, Salalna, the deepest underground station in the world. So I had to film a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> scary as the theater for example the Atruna or something station because uh, that one only has uh, one escalator but it's uh, 70 meters underground so it's one escalator of 70 meters uh, while this one is uh, 105 meters under the ground but there are two escalators of approximately 50 meters each so I think it's more bearable for you know the fear of heights and this sensation. So, that's a world record. Deepest underground station in the world. Let's go to the surface. Almost made it to the house. Hopefully no one will stop me from filming here for some really weird reason. They don't allow people to film at the metro. <laughs> or anything but this is the idea that it's a world record so I don't know if you didn't know it's in Ukraine now you do and if you're in Kyiv maybe you can come and check it out and the yellow tiles whoa the yellow tiles that Mr. Bull and Bancroft was talking about in one of the Daily Bull videos. So, that was it. You can see here, written Arsenalna. Deepest underground metro station in the world. And we're back to the wintry Ukraine, wintry Kyiv. Okay, let's find something to drink, I don't know. On the way to Pechersk, Pechersk Lavra, you're gonna see this uh, interesting hotel. Well, it's just a hotel, but uh has an interesting shape. It's probably uh, an ex-Soviet hotel. Interesting. Well, that was it. At least you saw it. You can come here and take better photographs of it, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> and another beautiful park. I love how many parks they have here in uh, Kyiv. Can you imagine in summer? All of these trees are green. But then winter is really beautiful as well. I got extremely lucky with the weather. Can you imagine to be around zero Celsius, no snow, and just a grey adventure? Well, I'm really satisfied with the weather here. Another very interesting thing to see in Kyiv is uh, the park of eternal glory. It's this beautiful park here very snowy now well it's bigger than this we have just entered and there's this uh, big obelisk in the middle it's uh, 26 meters high as far as I remember and uh, the whole park is dedicated to the soldiers who fought in the Second World War to defend the motherland so it's a very important park for for the Ukrainian people.
I think it's extremely beautiful in summer when everything is green or if you love winter it's uh, especially beautiful now because it's snowy here at the bottom of the eternal glory obelisk you you can find uh, an eternal fire burning here for for those who sacrifice themselves in the second world war people come here and leave flowers in the memory of these uh, heroes there in the distance you can already see the complex of the monastery of the caves Pechersk Lavra that we're gonna visit soon and here the Dnipro river and some cranes probably they want to construct some new buildings or maybe even a highway I don't know something that looks like a bridge there I don't know exactly what they're doing so you can uh, see the Dnipro and uh, one of those bridges there in the center of the screen mm. yeah I crossed it earlier <laughs> uh, when I was uh, playing uh, with the dogs <laughs> well probably that's uh, in another episode I know it's dangerous but it's so tempting to just take a sled all the way down huh. all right so let's cross this park and go to the monastery but uh, yeah there are many parks here in Kyiv so on the top 10 best things to do here would be definitely visit one or more of the parks and uh, here's a good example oh so nice stairs here some nice slippery stairs going down but I'm not going there I want to get closer to the monastery hopefully to die I think we can go this way as well. Oh. Seems so. Let's see where we get. Seems like we can go down here. Not sure. Oh, not sure what is there. 